So that is a very interesting study that's being presented by a college student um, who worked in our lab. And the question that we asked of her is to collect all of our MOG antibody disease patients who went from seropositive to seronegative. And so what is the implication of that? Does that mean that if you go from seropositive to seronegative, that you don't need treatment anymore, that you don't relapse, that the disease doesn't really exist in that patient anymore? That was the question. Or is it possible that the antibodies might fluctuate, maybe during periods of remission, they might become undetectable, but then if you relapse, it just pops up again and it's not that meaningful to be seronegative. That's the question we're asking. So we collected all of our cases and over a duration of, I think, about two years now, it does appear that if you convert from seropositive to seronegative, your risk of relapse is a lot lower, at least over the duration that we were able to study our patient population. So I think it is meaningful how often to check a patient for their MOG antibody status and level. I think it might be something like every six months might be useful. You might be able to collect a trend if the antibody level is going down over time and then sero converts to undetectable that i think has a uh, reassuring effect on the physician and our data suggests that it also has a predictive value of lower risk of relapse